Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are in Aspen, and this guy is pretty unhappy. He doesn't want to die, which I do understand. Hardy Knox. The man chained to this spit twists and writhes trails of agonized, half-frozen tears trail down his cheeks, dripping into the hungry flames. His back is warm to the touch, and you fear a single ember might turn him into a roaring blaze. He sees you and his begging before you have a chance to speak. You, you're not with that psycho Vic. Please. I don't want to burn. I don't blame oh, you. God. That's Hardy Knox. Uh, free him. Frame increased. Thank All right. You. Oh, thank you so much. My family and I owe you everything, strangers. God sent you to me as surely as he sent the patriarch. A shudder takes him, and he clasps his arms, wincing. The, the name's Hardy Knox, of the Hundred Families. I'd shake your hands, but uh, everything hurts right now. <laughs> everything. I bet. Who did this to you? Give him a minute to catch his breath. Give him a minute. He holds his hands tighter, shuddering, and his mouth firms, and he looks up at you. Vic Buchanan. That freak. That monster. Killing folk, cutting them open, laughing the whole time. And the Patriarch knew what his son was. That's why he banished Vic into the mountains. His anger fades a bit and his cheeks flush despite the cold. Nobody thought Vic would survive, let alone come back with an army. He slaughtered damn near everyone he found here. Tortured the rest. Tears well in his eyes. The seer here seems to know you. We're relatively new to these parts. What do you, does your family do in Colorado Springs? You're heading inside the lodge. Any advice? Are you ready to head home yet? Uh, Lucia here seems to know you. Little Lucia Wesson. What are you doing out here? Long story, Mr. Knox. Glad we got here in time. Well, you're a credit to your daddy. Helping folk like this. He must be proud as hell. She nods, her face purposefully blank. Uh, we are relatively new to these parts. What does your family do in Colorado We're Springs? We're bison ranchers. I oversee the wrangling, and my Miriam does the real work while I play cowboy. You're welcome at our ranches any time, strangers. Can't ever thank you enough for what you've done. Okay. We're heading inside the lodge. Any advice? Sure. Harden your hearts. You'll see things in there. Things he's done to his hostages, the other people from families that offended him. It'll burn marks on your soul. He rubs his eyes with both hands. And he's not alone. Those breathers of his. Well, I don't know much about them, but they treated me like livestock. Okay, any other forces he's got in there? A bunch of his sadistic friends. Same crew that followed him around Colorado Springs and got banished with him, as I recall. Okay, are you ready to head home yet? Soon. I'll have to find a working vehicle. Should be some at the base camp. Okay, good luck to you. You too, strangers. And if you can see your way clear to saving any other hostages in there, well... Well, okay. I'm sure their people back home would be grateful. Especially the ones from the Hundred Families. Not that you need rewards to do the right thing, but there it is. God okay. protect and preserve you, strangers. All right, let's have a quick look around here, see if there are some buried items or something. Nothing over this way. Nothing over this way. And nothing over here, it seems. All right. Let's do a quick save. And open the door! Alright, here we go. Ooh, someone new is here. Someone's in my fucking house. Yeah. Oh, boys! Get him! Alright. Shoot! They saw us! A fight it is. 
Uh, fight it is. Alright, we have a Crazer, we have a Breather, we have a Fumer, and a Crazer. Uh, we have a Breather, a Fumer, a Crazer, a Breather. Man. Alright, a lot of people to kill. A lot of people to kill. Alright, let's head over into cover. And let's uh, hit him in the body so his armor goes down. And another one. Good hits. Alright. Uh, Jody. Come up here. I think you'll take some of these guys with the high armor. Good hit. Well, kinda. Uh, prepare. Hawk. Uh, I want Seuss first, I think. Come up here. And let's take him. Nice. Prepare. Quan. You come up here. Not the greatest hits. You defend. And Lucia. I think you come over here and ambush. Hawk. Come up here. Nice! That was a nice, nice hit, Hawk. Alright. She hit him. Ooh, he hit her hard. Like this. Ooh, Hawk is taking some hits there. Alright. Nice. Alright, our bear cub scared the shit out of him. Very good. Lucia, you are going to heal. Then you are going to hit him in the body. Good. Destroyed his armor. Good. Salo. Ah, oh, man. We need someone else to hit that guy. Can Quan hit him? Just out of range. I, wa I think I want him to spray here anyway. Alright. Come over here. And hit him again. And defend. Um. Seventy-five percent on the fumer there. All right. Prepare. And there's Jody. Jody, you need to take out that crazer. Uh, 
Nice. You defend Jody. Salo. Defend. And there's Hawk. Hawk. You need to start healing a bit. And then you can come up here and start working on this fumer. Not the greatest hit ever. Let's come back here. Defend Lucia. Coming from the side. Okay. Ow. Oh. Ow. Good heal there. Ah, the bear got missed. Alright. Let's shoot him. And then shoot him in the head. Nice. He's dead. Then we can... If we move over here, we have less hit chance. Over here, we have the same hit chance. So, no point to move. Nice! Uh, Seuss, you are going to have to pick her up. And that means you can't shoot. Oh, you can. Nice. 43. Out of range. Suppose we'll take the 43. Alright, decent hits. Juan, you heal a bit. Then you can come over here. You don't have a hell of a lot of pre penetration, though. Uh, Hawk. Nice. Nice. And then you can... Stun him. You just defend. Juan. Come up here. Be ready to take a shot next time. Lucia, you ambush. Jody, you heal. And Salo, you defend. Nice. Okay. How long are you burning for? Uh, uh, rub the bear's belly. The bear almost seems to giggle. Alright, it's not burning anymore. Uh, we do need to injury kit Jody. No one else is injured. We didn't get a level up here of any kind. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. The only one... Yeah, we did. Jody got a level up. Alright, so attribute-wise, you're getting strength. Uh, 
Uh, we'll, I guess we'll save your points here. We do have a perk, which I don't want to use right now. But you can now get some nice armor. So plus eight, plus nine. But it's plus 15% healing bonus and resistance to poison plus 20. And she can... Um, we, we can uh, mod it as well. And then we have the chem tech legs. Eight armor, five armor. Nice. Then we just need a chem tech torso. I don't think we have that. Nah. All right. But with that freed up, uh, nine armor helmet. This is nine armor as well. This is seven armor. This is seven armor. This is seven armor. So you get the spectrum helmet. Or actually, where did the tank helmet go? Because this one doesn't really take any strength. So if we give that to you, that's better. And armor plus nine. Let's see, the composite legs take seven. strength and they have eight armor these only have six armor so yeah composite legs for you and that means that you can also have the composite helmet i guess uh didn't we get a composite helmet or no we got composite armor armor plus 11 armor plus 10. let's stick that on you and then the helmet gives plus seven. So does this one. So something like that, I think. And then we can modify. Hit chance minus five percent. Mm. I don't really like that for him. Plus two armor, plus 50% healing bonus, but minus 10% evasion. I think I'll take that. And this one is already modified, right? Yeah. Plus two armor. Mm. Okay. So that's that. Then there's your stuff here. Not sure I want that. Hmm. I'm not sure I care so much about the resists. Ah, uh, maybe I do. Let's not do that yet. But that was some nice stuff. Oh, we have a composite helmet as well. Plus nine armor, plus seven armor. Bang, you are fully composite. Nice, that looks cool. That looks really cool, I like it. Okay. Let's loot. Med pack, some ammo, sickle, bladed weapon. Maybe a harmless be bountiful. 49 to 67 damage. Okay. Breather tank. Tank armor. Alright. Not the worst stuff in the world. Uh, let's loot the ammo box. What else is there to loot? 
There was the booze box there. And then there's a chainsaw. All right. uh, someone went hog wild with this chainsaw. There's so much blood and body parts, it's hard to tell which limbs belong to which corpse. Yeah. That is pretty grim. That is pretty grim. All right. Nothing else here. All right, and then there's Woodson. We'll loot before we talk to him. Uh, loot that. There's a head. I don't see the head. Where's that head? There's nothing that I can look at, so I don't know why it says head there. All right, let's talk to him. Bell, and you brought the cavalry with you. Hot damn. I stand to shake your hands, but around two days ago, I missed a call because I was in the can. When I got back, they nailed my feet to the floor. <laughs> this game is so brutal. Shouldn't stand for that kind of thing. How bad is it? Listen, how bad is it? Hard to say. I think they missed the bones. But every time I check, it's not the worst part. They were laughing when they did it. Like kids playing a game. Get me out of this, Rangers. Get these goddamn nails out of me. All right. First aid. We have some medical training. Let's get you fixed up. We'll get those nails out, but it's going to hurt like hell. You could have escaped them in time, but you've been waiting for someone to save you? <laughs> That's a bit... He really, he could have escaped, escaped at, any, at any time. His feet are nailed to the floor. He eases back from the desk to give you room to work. You numb the wounds, extract the nails, give him a shot of antibiotics, and bandage his swollen, bloody feet. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, poor Riley. All right. Now, let me give you a situation report before I pass the fuck out. <clears throat> Vic the Patriarch's son. It's in the Patriarch's wing, doing God knows what. Rangers, I can't say this enough. As bad as his guys are, Vic is worse. Much worse. Okay. Worse than nails in the feet? Yeah. As bad as that was, I'm alive. I'll probably heal. Vic's games leave people dead. I heard Ash. It's one of Vic's inner circle. Saying he had the key to the Patriarch's wing. He's in some kind of security control room, not far down the hall. Okay. More importantly, Vic has hostages. Killed most of them, but two from my team are being tortured, and so are three from the hundred families. I don't know their exact locations, but I strongly suggest you try to find those five hostages before taking on Vic himself. Okay. What do you know about the hundred families hostages? You mentioned the rest of your ranger team is being held too. Where are they? Now, what do you know about the hundred families? He's a male, part of the Ward family, and two sisters, part of the Reed family. Can't really say much more. Even before the nails, they kept me locked down. Okay. Mention the rest of your ranger team. Overall, I'm not sure. I know they took Bazeppi to a science lab. They have her working with someone named the Gift. Sounds like that big brain of hers is keeping her safe. I have no idea where they took Laloka and Rook. The guards in the lobby kept joking about how lucky I was compared to what Vic was planning for the two of them. I really hope they're okay. What a fucking mess. Let's say that again. Uh, tell us more about Vic's people. Breathers. They never talk to me, but they look tough. I'm not sure what they want or why they're working for Vic. Okay, tell us about yourself, Corporal. Well, you probably know my brother, General Woodson. Wade, I spent a lot of time helping him, and I never got any field experience. That was the point of coming to Colorado. Looks like I got it, huh? More than I can handle. Wade's gonna laugh and laugh. I don't think he's gonna laugh, buddy. Your brother drove you to this? What? No. He told me not to go, but I had to, you know? Prove myself. 
What an idiot, huh? Spent a lot of time behind the radio giving orders. Never getting them. Never seeing what the world was like outside my brother's shadow. Have to say, I miss those days now. To think I used to worry about losing my shit in a fight. Okay, then you got your feet nailed to the to a floor and still managed to call for help. And did you lose your shit? Your brother will be proud of you. Then you got your feet nailed to the floor and still managed to call for help? Yeah, and it feels good. Alright. We'll be back. Get some rest. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Alright. Does sound like it hurts. Alright, so there's something in here. We can't pick the lock. We need the... Um, the key. I'm hearing something to the left. All right. I think we will continue on in the next one, guys, because we are pretty much out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.